Hello guys and welcome to a tropical update. I haven't done one of these in a while. I've had some uh, family issues, you know, for the last like month or so, but I have returned with a tropical update. Um, as you can see, as we uh, recap some of the stuff that has happened during my course of absence here, uh, a lot of a lot of storms have formed and a lot of storms have gone away. Um, as you, as you guys saw my account my predictions earlier this this year in May where I predicted that we would have at least 24 named storms and lo and behold here we are we're one away from 24 and it's definitely gonna happen I, I'm certain that it's gonna happen um as far as the major hurricanes go we might hit the four mark we might hit the five mark but I doubt we're gonna hit the sixth seventh and eighth mark you know this season and that's a good thing you know don't get me wrong i, I like to be wrong that's why i had the uh, wide variety of numbers from four to eight because i just I, I need i always like to have a wide margin of things when i do you know predictions so anyways that was then this is now and now october is promising to be pretty active now as well um so here we are with a area of uh you know interest here in the uh Western Caribbean. It is a broad area of low pressure that is expected to form over the Western Caribbean Sea in a couple of days. Environmental conditions are forecasted to be conducive for some development thereafter, and a tropical depression could form late this week or this weekend while the system moves slowly west northwest over the uh, northwestern Caribbean Sea. The, the chances have not gone up for the two day yet. I do believe that's going to change tonight or tomorrow. As we you know, get closer to that late week, you know, position here. At the five days, it's at the 50 uh, 50% 50 level. Um, and here's my prediction on what I think is going to happen here. Um, I do think that the low level center is going to form Thursday, probably early. You know, that's just my opinion. And what I do think it's going to do, there, there's two there's two options on the table. One, it goes right into the Yucatan as a weak tropical storm, or it gets going earlier, has more time to strengthen, and it goes something like this, right into western Florida. Those are my two options that are on the table right now, and uh, we'll, we'll see which one verifies. All right, here is the uh, infrared satellite here. And as you see, we got a... a uh, a front that is beginning to stall over uh, the Gulf, southwestern, central, and northeastern Gulf of Mexico, including Florida, where we will have a significant rain event that is about to happen in the next coming days. But there are two two areas here that we want to pay attention to. Um, it's uh, this this big boy right here over the Dominican Republic that has a some nice convection for being D men right now. Um, we're gonna have to see what happens overnight when we get the D max here, as we can see, uh, you know, thunderstorms probably pop up. That that's you know this is why I said that Thursday early a low level center can form. Um, as far as the invest goes, um, I'm gonna give it one more day. We'll probably have an invest out of this. So what what's gonna happen here? is you know this this whole area is moist enough now because we have a couple of uh identities here we got uh we got some stuff going here in the yucatan we got some stuff blowing up here and this is going to help you know uh moisten the atmosphere a little bit and uh this is going to start moving westward and well i mean it already is moving westward and as this starts to move westward going this way um we're going to start seeing more blow up in the convection of the system. And uh, once I do believe that once this uh, this uh, disturbance gets maybe right in here, I think that's going to when it's going to start going. And uh, what I do feel like it's going to happen here, as I said, is this it's going to meet up with this front and then it's going to swoop it right up to the north and east. That's, that's my opinion. You know, obviously I'm not a trained prof professional at this. It's just uh, sometimes I just go with what I see, and some and what I see is most times when these uh, disturbances meet up front, it moves to the north. You know, it's just logic because that's pretty much the flow of what's going on here. All right, 
with that, let's take a look at the GFS. We're gonna go out five days. Um, as you can see, here's our dome, dome of high pressure here. So whatever, you know, if it, this goes west far enough, it's probably gonna pick it up and go with the flow of the high as well. So that is what's gonna happen here. And as you can see here, there's not really much of a vorticity signal with our tropical disturbance. So we're gonna go out in time. Oh yeah, can't forget about our uh, our uh, front here. That's gonna be stalling out. So this is a big key player right here. So let's go out and through time. And as you see, more moisture starts to pile up in the uh, the Caribbean. And lo and behold, here we go. 40, 42 hours, we got a low pressure right here. This is this is obviously more south than what I predicted it's gonna be, but it does show what I have been saying since the start of this video is that a low pressure is going to form on the first or Thursday, according to the GFS. So but we're going to go out through time. And as you can see, it starts to really go here. Um, well, obviously it's not strong, strong, but it, it starts to kind of, uh, get that uptick in, uh, activity. Um, 994, that's a moderate tropical storm hidden into the Yucatan peninsula. And as you see, it kind of just sits there for a few days before going out into the uh, Bay of Campeche as it will start to strengthen again until a hurricane, it looks like, which, uh, you, you know, it doesn't surprise me. Uh, I said I was going to go five days and here I am going out like eight. <laughs> uh, we all make mistakes when we're, we're excited about the weather, right? All right, so that's what the GFS has to show. What about the European? Um, as you can see, it, there is a 10, 12 pressure here. So obviously it's picking up something right here, even though it's not a closed isotherm yet. So it's, you know, right here where it shows on the uh, infrared loop. And we're gonna see what happens here. And as it, okay, here is a trough here that's gonna probably pick up our storm if it digs down far enough south. So we're gonna see if that happens here. So, all right, see, there's the low pressure center. Let me go back up here so we can get the time and the date. It forms it tomorrow, actually, according to the European anyways. But you know, this can all change and uh, there we go with this Friday, 72 hours out. And as you can see, the low pressure is right in here, in this uh, little channel here. And that's obviously bringing rain from Nicaragua and, uh, you know, surrounding uh, towns and cities to the south of it. We're going to go out some more. And there it goes. It starts to bundle up just a little bit more. We're at 1,007. So this is still a tropical depression, according to European. And uh, here is five days out. Uh, we, we can see that it's close to the uh, Yucatan Peninsula and Cancun area. And we're going to go two days two days out. We went two days out with more to the GFS. So let's let's do that. Um, there's there's two days from now, and it doesn't look like it's done much of anything. It, besides just sit in like a 300-mile radius of where it's been from the two days prior. All right. Well, the key takeaway is here. We are probably going to get a low level center here by Thursday. That's what I think is going to happen. Um, when do I think this will become an invest? Also probably on Thursday. Um, I'm not going to go in quite yet about the strength yet until I see some of the numbers from the guidance, if this becomes an actual invest. And uh, they'll probably be giving my predictions on that in the next day or two. Anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will be back here tomorrow with another Chopper update. Thank you for watching.